So just some context. I'm in the Philippines, in Cebu City, and the purpose of this vlog really is to just showcase what an average day is like for me when I'm hanging around Ayala Mall, just lounging about and soaking in the air conditioning. So it is going to be a boring vlog, but really it's just for me to document uh, an average, typical, forgettable day here, hanging around Ayala Mall. So I hope you enjoy it. All right, good morning, guys. I'm here in Seiko, Philippines, and today's gonna be a boring vlog, if I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I need to just take care of some things here, so I'm walking over to Ayala Mall to take care of just a few things, visa-related and otherwise, do some shopping and chill out for the day. So this is just gonna be a boring vlog, but it's just gonna be something for me to document in memory, just a memory for myself. But the hardest part is always crossing the street, so let's just see how I can do with that. If I can do with that, let's go. I made it in one piece, which is great. Last thing I need to do is become roadkill, so. All right, it is a hot day today, but I'm gonna get some water at 7-Eleven in a second here, so once I get that water, that will help cool me down in a second, so let me just walk over there in a second. All right, guys, so the audio from the video is actually pretty pretty poor uh, i i think uh, my bag was interfering interfering with the microphone on the camera so i'm just going to do a voiceover for this part uh here i am navigating towards the 7-eleven to get some water and this is just a cultural difference i noticed or just a uh, something i observed you know for the first time here in the philippines but it seems like you can't go into any business or establishment or mall without bypassing security which i think is a great thing uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, we should be having this uh, in my home country in the U.S., but that's neither here nor there. So here I am uh, in 7-Eleven, and I have to say, every time I walk into the 7-Eleven, it's like a breath of fresh air. The A.C. is so nice, and, you know, I, I could honestly just lounge around just the A.C. Uh, in the 7-Eleven because it's just so hot walking out and about, which is why I always have to get a nice ice-cold water uh, to cool down. Uh, super refreshing here, so... Surprise, surprise, I had no idea she was down there, so I did say she, or I will say she did spook me when she popped up there, like a, you know, a mystery surprise there, but yeah, there we go. Um, so here I am, I'm just paying for the uh, water here, and that way I can enjoy it here in a second. But yeah, overall, just, uh, you know, just a typical day. I First thing I do is I just, you know, get out of my spot, go for... A little stroll get some water and then you know as I'm heading over to the Ayala Mall I can enjoy a nice ice cold water before uh, my next step which is usually to get a coffee in the morning so and we will see in a second here um, when I head over to the mall they open at 10 a.m. and I notice a lot of other expats uh, lounging about a few of the coffee shops and the one coffee shop that I have frequented a, a few times now is called Bose Coffee. Uh, they have really good coffee, very friendly staff, and they seem to have some prime real estate in terms of uh, you know people watching. So you can just lounge about there, uh, chat it up with some other guys, and just uh, you know enjoy your cup of coffee or maybe a bite to eat while you're there. So uh, I'm just gonna navigate my way back over to the mall here in a second. So let's fast forward this here. We're going to fast forward. All right, yeah, and once again, we're back at the security checkpoint. They just make sure I check my bags, make sure I'm not a crazy person. Um, and yeah, they just made sure I'm good to go. 
and yeah, I am now back in the mall. Uh, and I have to just say, I, I love how organized the, the this little area, this open wide area is. It's, you know, the, the plants are well kept. And yeah, I am ready to enjoy my day here in Iowa Mall. So I'm on my way to enjoy this water and get a coffee here in a second. So yeah, looking forward to that. Now I need my caffeine, so let's get some coffee. Americano. Okay, is this for definitely have medium or large? Uh, that's a large. Oh, the large. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, for food, could I have the bacon and egg bagel? Okay. Yeah. So I've now ordered my coffee and my breakfast, and I'm basically just sitting here outside in front of Bo's Coffee. And, you know, what I see most people do here, which is, you know, quite refreshing, is, you know, you just, you know, park a seat, and then you just introduce yourself to whoever's sitting next to you, and you just strike up a conversation, which is really nice. Um, I met some really cool guys uh, this morning. Of course, I will keep the contents of the conversation private. But, you know, we had a really nice conversation uh, and I really enjoyed uh, the dialogue that we had that day. And yeah, you know, basically it's just, uh, you know, you just, you just chop it up. It's just, you know, you and some of the other people, you just have some good vibes and, you know, having some caffeine in the morning to start your day. And it's just, you know, overall good stuff. So I really uh, enjoyed this morning, uh, just an average day here, getting some coffee and just having some, some fun conversation with some you know new friends that you'll make uh in your day here at Ayala Mall so so far so good in a second here we will see my food being served to me uh so we will just restore the audio from the video in a second here there is nothing for Adam. yes it's the and bacon sriracha. excellent thank you so much sir welcome And I just have to say, I really enjoyed the bacon, egg, and cheese bagel here from Bo's Coffee. And I always enjoy my iced Americano. Uh, you know, any one of the coffee shops I go to, I'm just either getting iced Americano or a cold brew if they have it. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to keep it low sugar as much as possible, even though uh, it's, it's, it's sometimes hard to do out here. So, um, but yeah, that's basically just the, the way I start off my morning here and we will see the next segment that I come across. All right. So after I finish my coffee and my breakfast and finish the conversation with the new friends I made that day, uh, I headed over to JRC visa consultancy. Uh, which is not directly in Ayala Mall, but it's in an office building adjacent to it. And, you know, I headed over there for my visa extension. So in this next segment, uh, I talk a little bit about what that experience was like. I did not film the actual extension process itself, but I just talk a little bit about that and provide some commentary on my experience. So let's take a listen. Okay, guys. So I actually just came back from JRC Visa Consultancy to take care of some visa stuff. And I have to say, I really appreciate the professionalism from the staff over there. Really, you just go in, you give them your passport, 
you pay and they get you in and out really quick and I didn't even have to wait there wasn't a line so I have to give a shout out to Angeli she was very professional answered my questions and made it super simple so yeah I guess I understand why foreigners are coming out here they just make it easy for us visa, visa situation is pretty straightforward and yeah good stuff but now I am back in the mall and I need to get some food. I need to get some lunch. So let's go see what I can find here. So stay tuned. All right, so I've now entered the mall and I am now just navigating my way up to the food court. And uh, once I'm there, I decided to get some Korean food. So there was this one spot called Bop Heaven, and they had a really nice uh, bimibap, and they also had some Korean fried chicken as well. So I'm just showing some shots of that here, and of course I have to get my, my Coke Zero to go with it. Um, and yeah, I have to say I really enjoyed this meal. You know, every time I eat, I try to make sure I'm having some sort of protein veggies and just maybe a little bit of carbs. I try to keep it lower on the carbs. And I think uh, towards the end of this, you will see I don't finish all the rice because the, the bimbi wop also had a portion of rice in it. But overall, this was a delicious meal, and I always try to order spicy as much as I can because I love spice. And yeah, that's uh, just me enjoying my, uh, my, my lunch here in the food court. And oh, also just one cultural difference that I thought was pretty neat uh, just out here in the Philippines. It's, you know, in the food courts or just generally at uh, like maybe uh, lower tier restaurants and whatnot, you know, once you're done eating, you don't like put your, you don't throw away your food and like take it to a bin or, you know, your tray, you don't take it to anything. You just basically just get your stuff and walk away. And essentially there are staff that go around cleaning up the tables here, even in an open food court, there's, there's actual employees that just, you know, go around cleaning every table after the guests leave. So I thought that was just a little interesting difference from what I'm familiar with back home. Um, so yeah, that is just uh, something I thought was uh, pretty neat and interesting. Um, but yeah, I, I won't bore you with commentary over this entire meal. I try to cut it up to have, uh, to only show the interesting parts of this. So, which are mostly just the bites and me showing off the actual food itself. So yeah, at this point, I will just uh, cut off the commentary and I'll just add some, let's add some Mozart um, while we enjoy the rest of this meal here. <laughs> All right, so now I have finished my wonderful meal, and now I need to walk off all of that feast that I just enjoyed. So what I basically just do is I, I walk around the mall, do a few laps, and yeah, I just also get some B-roll footage of just some interesting sights here. So, oh, and we'll see in a second here this uh, terrace plaza 
on this outside section of the mall and just look at this shot of this this wonderful tree i'll, I'll show you just some of the the audio of the wind blowing as well but just just take a look at this beautiful tree of life right here So here I am just continuing to do some laps around the mall, getting my steps in and soaking in the AC. Uh, you know, one of my favorite pastimes really is people watching. So just, you know, walking around the mall and seeing the different vibes in the different corners uh, of, of the mall here. It's really a good way for me to do that. Uh, what I will do is restore some of the audio just from uh, this section here, just so you can see some of the ambient vibes that we have here. So yeah, at this point, I just continue doing some walking around the mall here. Um, to be honest, this footage is pretty uninteresting. So what I will just do is fast forward it and put some music over it. And then uh, in the next section here, by the time it's around 2 or 3 p.m., uh, I go for my second cup of coffee. So look forward to that. So I have now finished my coffee from Seattle's Best. And I do have to say, I do enjoy their cold brew coffee. Uh, you know, pretty delicious uh, coffee that they have there. And so by this point, it is, you know, it's still about 3 p.m., so mid-afternoon. Very hot outside, so I'm staying indoors and enjoying the air conditioning. Uh, so we'll just see uh, me just walking around a little bit more, and we'll see what happens next. <laughs> Did more exploring. Oh, you did? Yeah, I'm also vlogging a little bit too. I'll just. Are you vlogging? Yeah, vlogging a little bit. Do you want to be in the vlog? <laughs> or sure. I can cut you out if you don't want to. It's okay. It's okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've just been exploring today. Did you go to Mango? No, I didn't, but the I went to. No, I didn't go to Icon yet, but actually someone else also told me I need to go to Icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Just for people to know. She's the one that helped me out I, get my glow. Cool. Yeah, it's on. I'm just walking around, just recording just exploring but she's the one that helped me get my globe sim card so and her name is lovely because she's so lovely so. what's your youtube channel oh I'll, I'll show it to you i'll show it to you in a second sure. here. so actually my first one i'll show you here but you know um i went to it park yeah. i checked that out i checked out uh smc side mm -hmm. corso yeah yes. slowly nice oh beautiful the water and everything too so nice but yeah i'm slowly just uh checking out and traveling and things but you see 
basically it's just my name. So the, the uploads I'm actually probably gonna upload later this week from my IT part. Yeah. But today I'm just doing some uh, Yeah, that's gonna I'll put uh, that's gonna be my main one. I'll probably put this this is gonna be like a regular walking day a day in the life vlog type of thing, but yeah, it's just you know I'm going exploring stuff like that. Uh, but beach? not yet. I'm gonna go to the beach. There's a, uh, I, I think you told me mall vlog. Uh, well, yeah. uh, people, a lot of people were telling me that I need to go check that out. Yes, so, that's yeah. Okay. yeah, so many things. Yeah. Oslo. Ah, Oslo for the whale sharks. Yeah. Yeah. So more, more things slowly. All right, guys. So I won't bore you with the entire conversation here, but. I will have to give a huge shout out to Lovely because she really did help me uh, get a SIM card up and running uh, when I visited her in the store. You know, I had visited like, I'm going to be honest, like three vendors in this mall just to get a SIM card. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was struggling that first day. Um, but she really helped me out. And, you know, most foreigners, when they get here, they usually just, uh, you know, they either just stick directly to using eSIMs. Um, or they'll just get a SIM card at the airport, but I, I didn't want to get a SIM card at the airport. I'd rather just get the, you know, get to my hotel, get myself, uh, established there. Then I can focus on everything else, but I really needed a physical SIM card to get a Filipino phone number so that I can uh, use Gcash, which is the e-wallet service that they have over here in the Philippines. Um, so I want to say thank you, lovely for helping me set up that SIM card and for helping me get Gcash going. All right, I'm gonna continue my adventure, okay? okay. Then you're okay being the vlog? I can yeah, cut it out if you don't want to. No, yeah. it's okay. Uh, okay. I, just, I was asked for. Yeah, actually, the first one, I'll show you. Okay, yes. Yeah, I appreciate you. Okay. See you soon. See you soon. Yeah, I'll walk another week, you'll see me something like that. Okay, sit here. Bye. You know what? I'm, I'm giving Lovely two shout outs in this vlog. That's two shout outs. Because every time uh, I see Lovely or I do a lap by her her stall, she's always greeting me with a smile and she's very friendly and, and kind. So shout out to you, Lovely. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it for this section here. So, you know, my day is slowly wrapping up here at the mall. Uh, you know, it might be, you know, 4 p.m. by this point. So the sun is slowly setting. And uh, by this point, I need to go to the, the supermarket, which is on the first floor, to just do some shopping and, uh, you know, take a few things to my to my little rental here. So uh, stay tuned for that next segment. All right, guys. So this is just some very uninteresting footage of me in the supermarket. Um, honestly, I just go to just, you know, buy some beverages because uh, it's hot in the Philippines and <clears throat> I just see... Need to make sure I'm uh, having something to to sip on, uh, whether I'm, you know, out and about or while I'm uh, just in my in my place. So, uh, of course, uh, I got to get my Coke Zero, and I usually just uh, I might pick up some waters or beers, stuff like that. But that's e either I'm getting that or I'm getting toiletries. That's pretty much all I'm getting uh, when I go to the supermarket. Um, and yeah, I did switch the camera from. Uh, I was, you know, I am vlogging primarily with my DJI camera, but in this case, uh, that thing was just too heavy to, you know, walk around in the supermarket with. So, uh, I just switched over to my, to my phone, my Samsung, uh, to record this. So I guess, uh, not bad, I guess. Uh, but I think the, the footage is much better from the actual vlogging camera itself. <clears throat> so yeah, this is uh, just a pretty typical uneventful, uh, experience. Uh, shopping at the supermarket here and so yeah I just pretty much check out and that pretty much wraps up my my shopping experience here at the metro supermarket all right so as I'm making my way out the mall I did hear some live music so these guys they were just you know playing some guitar and singing along and I feel like the vibes that you know they were singing in this song represents the vibes that I've had here just in Cebu which is just good vibes all around so I will close out the vlog with their music. So for those of you that watched till the end, thank you for watching and look forward to the next one. Bye-bye.